Hello there, welcome back guys. So the Edmonton Oilers, this guy right here, Connor McDavid, they have done it. They have won the game four of the Stanley Cup final at home 8-1 against Florida Panthers and the fans were amazing in the building, obviously the NHL.com, the official page of the NHL published an article, Oilers deliver huge home victory for phenomenal fans in Game 4 of Cup Final, it was the first win for the fans in Edmonton in a Stanley Cup Final uh, for the last 18 years, so they surely did enjoy it, La Bamba, La Ramba at the very end, obviously very famous song, and uh, well, I guys, published a video just before hours before the start of the game for yesterday where I uh, basically set three keys for the Edmonton Oilers in order to come back in this series in order to win game four and it seems like I was speaking directly to them because they really executed those three keys you can check out my uh, video from yesterday key number one I have been saying this guys key number one the top guys need to start producing Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl and other top guys uh, along with Zach Hyman and Ryan Nugent Hopkins, they were very influential but obviously especially Connor McDavid with four points and breaking the historic record of Wayne Gretzky so check mark there, top guys started producing in game four, the power play needed to start going they scored a goal on a power play in game four, first power play goal for the Oilers in the Stanley Cup final obviously they got a gift there from the pan uh, the two roughing penalties and a five on three but still they scored a power play goal check mark there and my key number three was that Sergei Bobrovsky needs to have a sloppy game and well guess what happens uh, Bobrovsky did have a sloppy game there he uh, from out of si 16 shots he uh, had uh, or he allowed five goals so a sloppy game for Bobrovsky who was after the five goals at the beginning of the second period out of the net and well it's starting to get interesting 8-1 for Edmonton but obviously right now they are traveling to Florida what NHL.com has to say about this game again McDavid boosts Oilers with leadership in game for while breaking Gretzky mark well Connor McDavid was absolutely spectacular and uh, he has said it even that they just need uh, one win it's all that matters it doesn't matter if you score eight or you score one it's just one win we have got to go to Florida do a job and drag them back to Alberta and uh, well Chris Knobloch obviously the coach of the Edmonton Oilers was very complimentary of his captain just because of what was at stake an elimination game in the final he just continues to impress every everyone meaning McDavid quiet the night for him to set the record we are obviously very happy for him to be part of that and I really just love the atmosphere guys and especially this photo right here the Edmonton Oilers and the banner right there yellow banner we believe the Edmonton Oilers they surely do believe that the Oilers eventually can come back uh, again the Oilers they did have a 16 straight wins in the regular season but obviously that was regular season this is the Stanley Cup final against a very strong Panthers team it will be very difficult for Edmonton Oilers to come back but at least right now they have done the first step which is very important they have done the first step they have won 8-1 a lot of enthusiasm it in Edmonton I think it would be great for Oilers if they could play more games at home but unfortunately for them right now it's the back transcontinental trip back to Florida where they will play uh, at um, obviously uh, against the Florida Panthers Florida will have the home ice advantage and again Elliot Friedman from the CBC from Sportsnet he mentioned something quite important I think on the broadcast during uh, this game and he mentioned that the teams which are trying to close out the Stanley Cup final in the last year they always lost this first game this first opportunity to close out the series in the Stanley Cup final they lost and obviously it's a huge responsibility the families were traveling uh, of the Florida Panthers players they were traveling to Edmonton uh, obviously the Ketchak family was there with Brady as well and uh, basically it's really a lot on the shoulders of the players which are trying to close out the series which are trying to achieve something they majority of them never has done in their career it's their a basically goal life goal since they are very small children that's what they are working their whole lives to win the Stanley Cup it's very you know a lot of pressure and the teams usually tend to lose this first potential series clinching game in the Stanley Cup final 
Panthers lost game four in Edmonton, but they will have another chance on Tuesday night. So what Edmonton needs to do in order to bring this series back to Alberta again? Well, I think it's pretty much the same. The top guys needs to again produce. Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Zach Hyman, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Evan Bouchard, they need to have an offensive impact on the game, something they weren't able to do in the first three games, but in the game four, finally, they were able to do that. Also, the secondary scoring needs to keep going for Edmonton, right? like Ryan McLeod, uh, Holloway, like uh, Broberg, etc., uh, Darnell Nurse, and uh, yeah, Skinner needs to have another great night like he did yesterday, and Bobrovsky maybe needs to be a little bit sloppy like he was in game four, but it will be very tough for Oilers to win in seven, that's what they need to do. They need to win. They have won one, but they need to do, uh, win another three and two of them in Florida. So it will be tough for Edmonton, but definitely they have the belief. The fans have the belief. What an outstanding performance by Oilers, quite honestly, in Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Final at home. It was absolutely electric, the atmosphere. I am from Slovakia, so I was watching from another continent, but uh, from the broadcast of CBC, it was quite, uh, quite amazing to see all of the fans gathered even outside the arena, even inside the arena. You know, it was amazing, amazing atmosphere. I'm certainly hoping that we'll see more games, more than five games in this Stanley Cup final. Hopefully seven. Hopefully, uh, let's see the most uh, amount of games uh, as it is right now possible. But again, tell me, guys, what do you think in the comments? Do you think that the Oilers will be able to come back? That the top guys, Connor McDavid, will be able to uh, live the Stanley Cup? Can they make a miraculous comeback? Only one team before was able to come back in the Stanley Cup final from being 0-3 down, and that was Toronto Maple Leafs back in 1942. Yeah, that's over 80 years ago. Well, Edmonton Oilers, they have a very tough ask. They have a very tough, uh, you know, very tough um, assignment before them. But what do you think, guys? Will they be able to come back, or will just Florida snap the next game, win in five at home, uh, their first ever Stanley Cup in franchise history? Tell me in the comments, guys, who are you rooting for, and what do you think will happen next? Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe, guys, please, as I'm, I am trying to reach 500 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Hopefully you have a great day and I cannot wait till Tuesday. It will be Game 5, Stanley Cup Final. Let's see what happens next. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.